Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at Super 7, and today we are totally checking out yet another one of their brand new Transformers Ultimates action figures, Banzai Tron, or Banzai Tron, however you want to say it, it's all good with me, and it's got the really nice shipper box, really nice artwork, it's got that grid, it's got the name, it's got everything you could imagine... So it ships nice and secure, right? And then you get to open it up and see Banzai Tron sitting all nice and pretty. I, I love the colors on this guy. I'm a big fan of goofy Transformers colors, so uh, this is going to be fun. And on the back side of the box, you get to see all the power plans for this particular Action Master. And speaking of Action Masters, yeah, this is pretty much what the Super 7 line is, right? But it's recreating an actual Action Master... Uh, that doesn't transform. So you can't say anything about this one. Oh, Transformers that don't transform. Well, this guy uh, never really did transform until later figures, right? We don't need to get into that. So the whole thing with Banzai Tron and the rest of the Action Masters, they discover new Energon. It's called Nucleon. And, and you know, they drink it or whatever they do. And it fuses them together, which means they can't transform. But because they can't transform, well, they start creating transforming weapons that they can use, like Razor Sharp right here. A little crab uh, guy minion that uh, he uses, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> when you talk about this stuff out loud, you don't sound crazy whatsoever. Anyways, it's gonna be fun, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Transformers Ultimates, Bonsai Tron, not to be confused with the older uh, Bonsai show. Remember that show? Oh, we're getting off topic here, uh, by Super 7. And of course, here is Bonsai Tron and Razor Sharp all out of the packaging and in juxtaposition to Optimus Prime, I, I, I feel like we're missing a, a few accessories. Like, a lot more, right? Just, you know, at least a few more. Something here and there. But, uh, you know, they've actually recreated the old Action Master pretty faithfully. I gotta give it to him. He comes with his gun sword thing, right? Whatever you want to call this thing. But, uh, I... I'll say all day, much like Optimus' gun, I wish they would put just some paint. Yes, the old figure, it's just flat black. I get that they're trying to recreate it, and it's just bringing it uh, into the modern day, right? But uh, maybe like a blast effect, something like that would have been cool. You do get a couple extra hands, right? All of them are done well. Each are kind of different in their own way, although you do get two sets of uh, weapon and fisted hands. And then you have Razor Sharp, his little crab action gun master guy, right? He doesn't transform. Keep in mind, these are supposed to be the things that transform. They don't move. This guy doesn't move. He doesn't have any moving pieces on him whatsoever. He's painted nicely. He looks just like the old action master accessory. So in that sense, it is cool. I just wish that maybe it did something, you know, maybe an extra head or something like that, just to kind of match up with a different artwork. That would be cool just to be able to swap it out, right? But you could take the uh, Banzai Tron gun and slip it on right then and there. I didn't actually know this was a thing. I just did it. And then I saw on the packaging of the old Banzai Tron that uh, you're actually supposed to do that. So uh, kudos to me for figuring stuff out, right? But hey, you can be a, a, a walking towards a Banda. Hey, uh, I got your knife gun thing. I don't know. That, that's fine. That works for me. And then you have Banzai Tron. And like I said, I think they have actually done a, a really nice job recreating and updating a transformer that doesn't transform. That totally works for me in and of this Transformers Ultimates line. Plus, you got those wackadoo 80s, early 90s colorings, and uh, I absolutely, uh, I love this. I think this guy actually fares better for me than the Optimus Prime, just because uh, I don't have a Bonsai Tron 1. Uh, he does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet. That's two, right? Let's go for the surfboard. But uh, it just, it's a fun figure. He's just fun to look at. And he's got uh, some head swivel to him. One thing I will say, though, with the recreation, I just wish there would have been more emphasis on the face. Just to kind of bring out more detail, it kind of gets muddled in the orange right there. Maybe even an extra head to kind of update it with recent comic books. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. That would have been awesome. The articulation is Pretty much what you would expect, and it totally works for me. You can't exactly get his arms all the way out, uh, but you can get him going up. He has a lot more elbow articulation than Optimus Prime does, so that's pretty cool. At least you get that. He'll swivel at the elbow as well, and he does have... Let's see, is it just me moving this, or... No. Wait. Yeah, no, actually, that's kind of cool. So he does have bicep swivel. So he's also got waist. He has... 
minutia of an ab crunch. It, I mean, moves, but I mean, it couldn't say that it does all that much. The legs just go easy on the legs. Nothing was going to snap or break or anything, but sometimes you just don't want to move it wrong. I just felt like it might. You know what I mean? Just be careful in that sense. Now, nothing rotates as far as a robot thigh swivel, and he does have single-jointed robot knees, so that's cool. Lots of paint on this guy, too. The purples and the greens and everything else. I like that. It's, it's painted well. He does have, let's say, up and down in the feet, and he does have some rock to and fro. So, yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more, we'll say, articulated in terms of what you want him to do than the prior Optimus Prime figure. So I definitely dig this guy. He's cool looking. And then as far as the hands go, now I'll say all day, I do wish he had maybe a couple extra hands. Just saying. That way you could do the mirroring thing. You have the weapon holding hands. Unfortunately, I'll tell you this. Much like I've said before, Optimus rock steady. He doesn't hold it in the terms of like how you hold a gun. You know, it just kind of holds the handle. The trigger finger can't reach. Doesn't have that. He doesn't really even have that hand. He has a semblance of trigger finger, but it doesn't get all the way up. But you got the open hand, which yeah, you can hold it. That's nice to see. Or you could do the come hither hand or the force grab hand. You know, I actually really like that. That actually looks pretty cool. He photographs well. Doing that looks all menacing and powerful. And then, of course, you can flip the gun around and have it be a gun knife. While he's uh, you know pointing at something, maybe it starts screams ghost, or you can do the whole Jedi mind trick, right? That's immediately what I thought of. These are not the droids you're looking for. Move along, move along. So yeah, he photographs well. He looks good. He poses nicely, but uh, you know, when facing off against other Transformers Ultimates, uh, how does he fare in terms of the scalature? Well. Yeah, they said everything was going to scale, and I would say, as much as I know about the scale of Bonsai Tron, nobody does, but uh, I would say that this works for me. I would see him as a smaller character, or at least just smaller than Optimus Prime as his, his little minion bot, right? So I think they all go together well so far. You know, you could have some fun. You could pop Bonsai Tron's head off and pop it on the little robot. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's... Weird, put the little knife in there and uh, attack Optimus Prime, right? You can do anything you want. That's the beauty of uh, Transformers and imagination. Or you can just have Optimus Prime crush him to death. In terms of scalature for other Transformers lines, this is where Banzai Tron actually kind of fits in better, right? So I would say that, yeah, you could find something where he would fit in. But just the art style may vary, may differ, right? He actually kind of looked... In, in so many ways, just with the angles and everything else, he kind of reminded me of Transformers Animated a little bit, just to be honest with you. But like I said, he's more around the 6-inch, so he might scale well with various Transformers incarnations. He'll be entirely too big for the Red or the original G1 figures, of course. But, uh, you know, this would be one outside of Optimus Prime where, yeah, you could fudge him into a regular collection and totally get away with it. So I think that that's a cool, nice little nod. Plus... He's just a cool looking figure. Other accessories that come with, say, Optimus Prime. You have Spike Wick Wiki or the Energon Restraints or something like that. You can put that on him. That's pretty fun. Or have him go full bonsai and he's surfing and doing all that kind of stuff. That surfboard is like one of my favorite things now. You can put him with all the different Transformers. And so, yeah, he's, a, he's actually a pretty solid looking Transformer. I mean, you could even go old school and put him on Razor Sharp, make him like a little vehicle that he rides around. Now, he won't peg in anywhere or do anything like that. Unfortunately, Bonsai Tron can't really hold him either because of his hands. So that's a bit of a bummer. But in all honesty, if you're kind of on the fence of Optimus Prime, like, oh, I got a dozen Optimus Primes, and I don't blame you. But if you don't have a Bonsai Tron, that uh, and you don't mind him not transforming which he's not really supposed to because he is an action master i would say look no further this is actually a pretty solid offering he's got a couple probs here and there mainly in let's say holding the weapons and such i'm okay with the articulation i like his little minion nothing is meant to transform you kind of have to just take yourself out of it and go yeah okay it's just meant to be figures on your shelf so I like the colors, I like the look of them. I would have preferred more accessories, maybe a head swap or two, something like that, just to kind of add to it, because I do feel like you get a lot with Optimus, and then you get a lot less with uh, Bonsai Tron. But he is definitely fun, and the fact that he could fit in with other Transformers collections, well, hey, that's a win all the way around. So that'll wrap it up for my look at Bonsai Tron. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Transformers Ultimates. And thank you again to my friends over at Super 7 for sending him over to give you guys this early fresh look. 
And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, we've done Optimus. We've done Bonsai Tron. we still got an Insecticon. But we might have a ghost in the machine coming up real soon. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm-hmm.